hello guys how are you i hope you are doing well in this video we will see how we can make this cool menu on our elementor website so let's begin our video as you can see we already open our elementor panels so first we need to add a container so and i will name that container main wrapper you can name it as you want so so in main wrapper we need to make content width full and it will be 100 and the mean height will be 115 and we need to set align items center so in main wrapper we need to pick our index 100 because we want this container will be top of all container we have on our website so that's why we need to add the z index 100 after that we need to add our logo here so let me add that image and i will uh, do some css here based on my need so you can do as you want And now after that we need to add an extra container here so let me add that and I will name that btn wrapper because I will add all button in this container so first we need to make content width then change that to pixel and uh, we will make that 100 pixel and mean height will be 45 pixel then we need to take this container in this position to take that first we need to go advance and position absolute and now we need to set horizontal orientation to right and make it 35 pixel and vertical orientation will be 35 pixel now we need to add our button in this container so let me add that so this is my button and uh, this will be menu and now you can design this button as you want so let me design that let me add the icon color and keep in mind that we need to add the button index 20 and also in style we need if you add if you have uh, bodies uh, if you want to add border radius go to the style and here border radius so i will add that 20 and uh, we don't need any uh we don't need any padding in this button because we will add the padding through our custom code so that's why we need to add the zero here so now we need to copy this button again so let me duplicate that and change the text menu to close and reverse the color so the text will be this one and the background will be this so our button work is done so now we need to add another container so let me add that so first uh, we need to add the container in the main wrapper not in the btn wrapper so here we need to you need to select uh, main wrapper first then go to the add element click container it will be under this menu wrapper so now we will uh, set the container name content wrapper and now we will make this content width full width and we will change that to pixel and we will add 480 pixel and we need to add set background overlay so this will be my background and i will add padding to this container so the padding will be theorem and now we need to take our this container here so to take that we need to change our position default to absolute and now horizontal orientation will be right and uh, from top it will be 50 right 15 pixel and from top it will be also 15 pixel 
so now as you can see we cannot see our button here so that's why we need to set this container uh, as z index so we will add z index to 10 and uh, because we put z index to our btn 20 so now it will be 10 so it will be below this our button so now we will add our content in this container so we need to add another container here in this container so first select that go to the add element click container it will be add here so now i will rename that nav content in this nav content we need to add icon list because we will add our navigation item as the icon list so let me add that icon list and uh, we need to do some customization here as we want so first we need to change this arrow or icon so let me select that and uh, this will be home so let me add the other element here so as you can see i already add my element here now we need to add some customization here so list space between i will add 20 pixel and i will add my font will be uh, poppins and uh, the font size will be 45 pixel and width bold so yeah and we don't need to uh, add any customization to icon because we will add that to our custom code so leave at it is right now here so now we need to add our social element here so we have to add another icon list in this container so select nav content and add element search icon so icon list so now uh, we need to customize this icon list too so let me do that remove the icon and i will call that facebook and this will be linkedin instagram and this will be youtube and also i need some spacing between the list so i will add that to 15 pixel and if i want to make some uh, opens and it will be i think 20 pixel is good and it will be semi bold or let me pick that medium so yeah and also i will add some margin here top margin is 30 and yeah so our element work is done so we already add all elements we need here now the important part is we need to set our custom class to our element so first we will add custom class to our main wrapper so the main wrapper class will be here to add a custom class you need to go advanced and scroll a little bit you can see there is a css classes you can add any class you want here so the main wrapper class will be ln side menu area so and this will be our logo so to we need to add our custom class to logo so the custom class will be go to the advanced and scroll a little bit the class the class will be ln hide on a scroll and the btn wrapper class will be ln side menu button and the content the content wrapper class is uh, ln side menu and after that we need to add the custom class to our social list icon as you can see there is the menu and this is the our social list so we need to add a social list icon also uh, icon not icon the custom class of this social list so go to the custom class and the C class will be ln side menu social so we already add our all custom css class name to the our to on our element now we need to add our custom code here so first you need to select nav content because we will add our custom html code here 
so now go to the add element and search html so you will see this element and click here and it will be added in this container and you can navigate that on the top of the uh, list icon and now you need to add the code i will give you the code on video description and also you can find all code in my website so yeah also i will include the css name too here so select the html code and paste the code here as you can see everything is uh, right now you cannot see anything here so let's publish that and let's see so let me refresh the page so as you can see uh, there are some area here because uh, see there is no margin here so we need to select that i think 120 negative margin will be enough so let's publish that so as you can see our uh, menu is now it's not showing as rounded we want so to make all corner is rounded you need to go the content wrapper and go to the style and border radius you need to select that 20 pixel now you will see everything will be rounded here so as you can see uh, everything is uh, working here so now let's see how it look on on the tab version i think on tab we don't need to do anything here so let's see on the mobile menu so as you can see we have some problem on mobile menu so don't worry i will show how you can fix that so so as you can see we put our button wrapper container width is 100 pixel if i go to the mobile menu then you will not see any specific pixel here so we need to select that here so it will be 100 and the 45 so now you can see there are some problems still we have some problem here as you can see the our two button is showing side by side we don't need that to fix that select the btn wrapper and here you can see there is option for wrap you need to select that no wrap so as you can see uh, we are seeing one button right now let's check again so yeah now it's fixed and also i think there are some problem with this container so as you can see it's not good so let's we really fix that together so here is also the same problem as we set our this container with 480 pixel on desktop version but when we go to the mobile version as you can see there is no specific width for this container so we need to add that i think 400 will be good yeah so you need to select specific width on mobile version 2 so let me refresh that yeah as you can see the mobile version is also fixed and also you can optimize the font size based on your requirement so yeah as you can see everything is working very good also when you hover on the element and you can see this hover animation and that's it for today i hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did a like would mean a lot for me and don't forget to subscribe lentora for awesome video like this and if you have any question or any request for future video drop them in the comment box i would love to hear from you and thanks for watching i will see you in next video till then take care happy building